Welcome back to another episode of Wessinger's Movie Reviews. I'm Wesley Malott. I'm Andrew Glessner. And today we're going to take a look at The Mustang. Let's watch a movie. The Mustang stars Matthias Skonertz and is directed by a female filmmaker with an incredibly French name that I'm not going to bother pronouncing. It follows Roman Coleman, a violent convict who spends his days isolated from the general prison population. He is given a chance to participate in a rehabilitation therapy program where convicts train wild horses. Roman is then tasked with taming the wildest, most violent horse of the stable. This was an exceptionally well-crafted film built around a masterful performance by Matthias Skonertz. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but that's what I'm going with. He delivers a very subtle, quiet performance where he's able to convey a lot of information with just his eyes and his body language. You can see his pain. You can see the guilt running through his mind. His character doesn't like people, therefore he doesn't talk to people, so he doesn't have a lot of dialogue dialogue in this movie. But when he finally opens up and has a beautiful, super emotional monologue with his daughter, it'll leave you in tears. The acting in this movie is just all around really good. All of the supporting roles are impeccably cast, and all of the actors are perfect in their roles. Particularly Jason Mitchell, who brings a much needed lightheartedness and humor to the movie as he mentors Roman. Gideon Adlin, who plays Roman's daughter, also is really good in this movie. She doesn't have too many scenes, but her presence carries an impact throughout the film, no matter matter if she's on screen or not. Bruce Dern, who plays the organization's manager, is also really good in the movie, but yet I feel his character was just a tad underutilized. I wanted just a few more scenes with his character to kind of help fill in some gaps, because it kind of feels like he's somewhat bipolar, making some uh, leaps in judgment from one thing to another without diving into spoilers, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because the movie is tight and adding those scenes could just make it unnecessarily longer. The cinematography in this movie is really good. There's a lot of shots with a super shallow depth of field where it kind of really highlights and details uh, the beautifulness of these animals. It's not super flashy, so it might not stand out to some people, but I really enjoyed the cinematography in this movie. As for weaknesses, there is a subplot involving Roman's cellmate, and without diving too much into spoilers, I'm just gonna say that I wish it had just a tad bit more closure to it. It kind of leaves you wondering exactly what happened without it really being explained to us, which I feel like we kind of needed that explanation here. Me personally, I was never bored during this movie, but it is an art house indie film that's meticulously paced and character driven. There's not a whole lot of action, nor is there a whole lot of dialogue, so I could potentially see how this movie could bore some audiences it's not going to be for everyone. If you're an animal lover, especially a horse lover, I think you're going to really enjoy this movie. This is very much a relationship movie about Roman and his horse Marcus and how both of them are able to change each other throughout the story. What did you think, Andrew? Sorry, Andrew's invisibility seems to be malfunctioning, so I guess we'll hear from him next week. I give the Mustang an A-. minus. This is a really solid movie with a gripping, powerhouse performance by Matthias Skonertz, and it's a really touching story. I highly recommend checking this movie out in theaters, and if you can't make it out to the theaters to see it, or if you're not interested in seeing this movie, in the theaters, then I'm sure it'll be on VOD or Netflix soon. That's going to do it for this week's episode of Wes and Drew's Movie Reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, and then tune in next week for more Wes and Drew's Movie Reviews. Holy crap, mouthfuls. <laughs>